What is up, LEGO fans? Cow60Bricks here. And some of the Ninjago Legacy 2021 sets were revealed a couple of days ago. I'm sure most of you have already seen them, so this is going to be less of a news video and more of my just thoughts and opinions of them. And let me just say straight off the bat that these are absolutely amazing. I'd say it's one of the best waves Ninjago has seen in a long, long time. And especially with the Harry Potter and Star Wars sets that are coming out this year, uh, which aren't that good. This is definitely going to be the highlight of 2021 for me in terms of Lego. These Ninjago sets just, they're so, so good. Um, uh, Lego have really hit the ball out of the park on this one, honestly. They're just absolutely flawless sets, everything I could have asked for, and even more. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into this video. So first up, we're going to look at the uh, Epic Battle sets, which are the gimmick sets for 2021. And can I just say that these are probably the best gimmick sets we've ever had. Um, they just are. The minifigures are amazing. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll get to that though. Uh, so first up here we have the epic battle set Kai vs Skulkin and as you can see, uh, as was the trend with all the other gimmick sets, it has really weird box shape which looks to be 3D um, and then the actual set itself is just amazing. So um, we have this new Kai minifigure uh, with this really cool hair piece and then we have these awesome, um, I don't know even how to describe them, um, these sort of like elemental pieces in fire um, <clears throat> and there's uh, different colours for each of the ninja and those look so cool. Completely wasn't expecting it. Uh, this from Lego. Um, and next up we have the uh, J vs Serpentine. Which is amazing because everyone assumed the Serpentine was going to be a Venomari. Um, but they actually went out of their way and made a Hypnobri. Um, which is awesome. That looks so cool. And the J minifigure looks awesome as well. And then you've even got this Hypnobri uh, shrine which looks really cool. And then of course we have the Zane vs Ninjoid set. Which... I would say is the worst apart from one thing and that is that Zayn has finally a titanium hair piece which we've been waiting for for ages. Complete shock. Didn't expect uh, Lego to put it in this set so that's awesome. And then he has the same uh, sort of elemental pieces but in ice colour which is awesome. And then perhaps the favourite, no definitely uh, my favourite is the Cole vs Ghost Warrior. The minifigures in the set are so so good. The Ghost Warrior is just amazing. Um, the legacy hood looks amazing with that purple um, and then that sort of ghost piece that he has with the purple and the um, transparent green that's just amazing and the coal minifigure looks so good especially with that new orange um, half mask piece that's going to be amazing to add to the collection and yeah just amazing with all these gimmick sets you get a little tiny spinner and then some background builds but it's the minifigures that are so good in these without a doubt the tournament development set is 100% the best set of this entire wave uh, so far. Um, so first of all, down in the bottom right of the box art, you will notice a golden Lloyd. And that is because it's the 10th anniversary of Lego Ninjago. And every single set is coming with a golden version of each of the ninja. And, um, and it's a version of themselves in golden from their uh, most recent season. So this is Lloyd from season 14. And I think that's really, really cool. I'd say it's even better than when Star Wars did their 20th anniversary. Because these are completely new golden minifigures. Whereas in Star Wars it was just <coughs> um, old minifigures. Um, and then to the actual set itself. Which, the actual set is cool. But again, once again, it's the minifigures that completely blow the set away. We get the three remaining Elemental Masters uh, that we don't have. Uh, apart from... The poison one, I can't remember her name, but she, I think, is coming in the book. And then we get an Anacondre Warrior, Legacy Anacondre, Anacondre Warrior, which looks amazing. And this set, I have to pick it up. It's an amazing set. I interrupt this video with a very important announcement. Before you watch the rest of this video, I need you to do one thing. I need you to subscribe to my channel. If you subscribe to my channel, then I can make more videos just like this and you won't miss out on any of them. So please subscribe. Next up here we have the Legacy Boulder Blaster, um, which looks way better than the original. Um, just looks really cool. You've got this also this little jail cell in the anachondry sort of style, and that looks really cool. And you can see um, Chen's uh, like building over in the background. That looks awesome. The golden minifigure you get in this set is Kai, um, which I believe to be in his season 11 robes. It could be um, season 10 though, I'm not sure. 
And then you get a coal analoid and you get uh, what I think is the same anachondrite warrior as the last one, which is a little bit disappointing, but this just looks like an awesome set, so definitely worth it. Next up is the X1 Ninja Charger from Season 3, which I think is a terrible choice for a set considering they've already done a Kai vehicle from Season 3. I think they really should have done Zane's helicopter or uh, even just left it and done other sets. But regardless of the choice, it's an awesome set with awesome minifigures and it comes with a Season 13 Golden Coal, which is really cool. But I would say probably uh, my least favourite of all the sets. Still really cool though. Zane's Titan Mech Battle is the only legacy set that I have the original of because I, I didn't have much sets back when I was a kid, obviously, because I was only a kid. But um, I was really happy to hear they were making a legacy version of it so I can actually compare it. Um, but that being said, this set isn't that great. And the mech build just doesn't work that well for me. Um, but on the other hand, the minifigures are amazing. We get two awesome looking ghost minifigures. I just can't get over the purple and transparent green color scheme. That looks so cool. And then our first season five legacy minifigure, ninja minifigure, which is Zane. And that looks absolutely just so good. Um, really good, like uh, taking from the original season five Zane. And because it's our first season five set, uh, it's our first time looking at um, that box art with Moro on it. Um, and yeah, it just looks really cool. I uh, wish it came with the ghost mech as well. That would have made it much better. And also the golden minifigure in this set is probably the worst because the blue looks kind of bad on the gold. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to say about this. Unfortunately, I'm not made of money, so I won't be able to pick up most of these um, because I do have to buy the Harry Potter sets because I have a collection going there. If I could, I would definitely buy all of these and I would recommend you too if you can. Um, I'll try and pick up the Tournament of Elements set because I really, really don't want to miss out on it, um, especially with that golden minifigure as well, saying 10-year anniversary. And I'll probably get the Cole versus Ghost Warrior legacy set as well, or epic battle set because just be nice to have one of them because they are really cool and to have a ghost warrior as well but yeah maybe i'll get rich um and i can get them all uh i hope so but um i would advise you to get any of these especially the tournament development set and any of the epic battle sets they're all really cool yeah none of these are bad sets they're amazing hope you enjoyed the video that's all for me have a great I almost forgot, if you don't like, subscribe and share this with your friends, the Buildable Bat will be very upset.